Hi friends, welcome to Gona's Reading Ranch. We still didn't find the leprechaun, did we? No, but we are going to read another book that will give us some hints on how maybe we can have better luck in catching that darned old leprechaun, okay? So here we go, How to Catch a Leprechaun. How to Catch a Leprechaun, words by Adam Wallace, pictures by Andy Elkerton. The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down and your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really, that's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait. And leave with a full belly. Now you're talking. Look at this. It's dandelion tea but I'm too speedy for your trap. The tea is mine for free. I know you wanted my pot of gold. The iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. <laughs> now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, fancy, dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. The, the end. end. Oh. Maybe we'll have better luck next year. I think you're right, Clara. Maybe we will. We didn't catch one this year, but I think that Atlas will make a good substitute. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Well, friends, we'll see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Bye-bye. Welcome to Gona's Reading Ranch. Join us weekly for reading adventures around the farm. And don't forget, go to our website and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.